Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Seek Thermal thermal imaging camera for the iPhone. This is also available for Android devices and it sells for $249.99. The Seek Thermal is a thermal imaging camera that plugs directly into the port on the bottom of your iPhone and allows you to do all kinds of troubleshooting and situa situational awareness type tasks while at home, at work, or outdoors. You can do things like find the leaks around your house uh, where heat is getting out, see your studs in the wall, detect electrical shorts, detect wildlife or people outside, ensure your campfire is completely out, uh, see things in the dark and identify other dangers. Basically, if you've not used a thermal imaging camera, um, it allows you to see things you can't see with your naked eye, which is kind of neat. So as I open up the box, you'll find inside the packaging, you get the camera itself and this watertight carrying case. Move the box out of the way. We'll show you the case first, which is right here. And basically it comes with this little ring, but the camera fits safely inside. You can close it up, keep the camera protected while you're on the go. The camera itself is incredibly small, as you can see. It fits easily in the palm of my hand. Now there have been at least one other thermal imaging camera that I know of released on the market and it came in the form of a big bulky protective case. Not so with the Seek. If you wanna keep your iPhone slim or use whatever case you want, this is for you. You can see how small it truly is. Now to use the Seek, you need to download the app that goes along with it from the App Store, whether you're on iPhone or Android, and then launch it up. The initial setup process requires you to create an account with Seek, but once you've got that all set up, all you do is take the camera, point it away from your phone, and plug it on in. And once it's in, it will immediately start working. Now, while on this screen, there are a variety of functions that you can do. Um, in the upper left-hand corner is where the menu or settings are. That's where you can do things like change the temperature units, change your color palette if you wanna have it look different on the screen, and change some image preferences. The Seek community will allow you to upload images you've taken with your camera to the community, as well as view other ones. The Thermal Plus feature is kind of cool. It splits the screen in half, and I'll show you this in a minute. And basically this is um, on the left-hand side is what's being seen by the regular uh, built-in camera. And on the right-hand side is what's being seen by the Seek. And as you can see, I can uh, slide uh, to adjust to get more of either image if I so choose. And you can toggle that on and off. You can, of course, capture images with the Seek. So if I wanted to take a picture of what's going on, I would just press that and then I have created a media gallery here which I can launch to view the pictures I've already taken. There are some sharing options like if I want to email these um, or I want to share them over uh, messaging or other uh, iOS functions, I can do that from there as well. And then also down here in the lower right hand corner are some temperature control settings. So you've got normal which allows you to just view the camera and see um, with your eye kind of what's going on. This spot temperature displays the actual temperature in the center of the display. So whatever I'm pointing at my background is 78 degrees. You can see if I put my hand in here, temperature goes up to about 96 degrees. You have a uh, high-low mode, which displays the highest and lowest temperatures that the camera sees. And then you have a threshold mode, which allows you to set a certain threshold temperature and it will alert you when you've um, gone above or below that temperature. So enough about like how the camera works and all the features of it. Let's get to some actual testing with it so I can show you how this thing performs. All right, so here is a kind of real world application for the Seek. I'm down in my basement where we actually had some water damage recently. It hasn't been repaired just yet and it's in a closet and I'm pointing the camera in the closet at the corner and if you look, over there, you can see that corner. And you can see all the blue, which is where the water came in. And if I pan over a little bit, you can see that it turns orange as it starts to get away from where the water stops. So over here on the right-hand side of the screen, there is no water. But back in that corner, we had some pretty significant water damage, and you can see that it's still blue back there. And I can see all back there where the water you know, had come in through um, the outside. And we are having that repaired, but this would be a good way to identify you know, whether the water damage has been corrected or not.
If you want to identify where the heat is escaping in your house, you can use the seek as well. I'm at the back door to my basement right now, and you can see all of the cold air that is coming in through the outside. That leads to an outside area from the back of my basement. You can see the insulation is pretty poor around that area. So I go up, it's not as bad, but there still is some blue where the cold air is escaping or coming in. All right, so let's check out how the spot temperature mode works. I'm gonna enable that on the camera and I have a candle burning. As you can see right now, as I'm pointing straight down, the temperature is measuring 73 degrees. Uh, if I tilt it, it does go upside down. So you kind of have to get it at the proper angle. I know you can't really see that all that well, but there you go, 75. And as I move over the flame, you can see now the temperature starts to increase. If I hold it right on the flame, We'll get it up to, let's see, get it at the proper angle. And now we're up to 210 degrees um, or so. And I know it's hard to see that through the camera, but basically if I do it that way, it's gonna flip upside down. But basically you can measure spot temperature by just pointing this at your subject. Now we're at 210 or so, and I'm moving it around a lot, but you get the general idea of its ability to act as like a thermal thermometer to spot check for temperatures. All right, let's check out the uh, way the Hot Hands hand warmer works. I removed one of them from the packaging. And right now you can see that it is measuring at about 80 degrees. Um, if I bring that in, let's see, I know it's upside down, 75 degrees or so. And uh, to activate these, you shake them. So I'm gonna take it off camera a little bit and start to get it going and hopefully it'll warm up quickly. I think you shake it to get it to work. Um, basically, let's look at the instructions and see what it says. Yeah, do not open, remove, my shake to activate, do not puncture. So we'll let that one start to heat up. Then I also have an ice pack here, which, you know, again, measures at about 75 degrees and it's still red. But basically, I'm going to activate this to get it going. All right, and you'll see immediately these things turn cold right away. Look how blue that turned right away um, and the temperature there is dropping to 53 degrees. So you can see that uh, the ability of the seek to measure that cold temperature, and you can see how fast that worked. This is starting to warm up the hand warmer, and you can see it kind of glowing. Hopefully you can see that there, if I move it up a little bit more. There you go. So check out the difference between side by side, the ice pack, which is over on this side of the camera, and then the heat warmer over here. You've got bright glowing orange and then purplish blue for the temperature. 57 degrees here and 93 degrees and climbing for the hand warmer. Pretty cool. So that's just a few of the ways you might use the Seek thermal camera. I could go on and on. There are really um, endless amount of things you can do with it. It's very cool. All right, so that has been my brief look at the Seek Thermal thermal imaging camera for the iPhone. Remember, it's available for both the iPhone and Android devices. You can pick it up via the Seek Thermal website for $249.99. I will have a link to that in the video description. I'll also have a link down there to my full review of this over on runaroundtech.com. As always, if you have any questions about this or anything else, feel free to drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.